Next game on the board here, we have got uh, see an, a- an AAC game. And that AAC game would be 12 p.m. Eastern time, UCF at SMU. And I, I don't quite understand it, but SMU is a seven-point favorite, total of 60 and a half. UCF 5-0 and straight up their last five against SMU. SMU 5-0 and against the spread their last five at home. Uh, you start digging into some of these numbers. Yeah, if, if you just want to take the full season, then okay. And I understand that that's where the majority of these lines come from. Hey, There's, hang, hang on. Go ahead. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're, you're okay with looking back years. Years. <laughs> but you're not okay with looking at the season that we're in right now. You like roll your eyes at that. Well, okay. I guess if you want to look at what we've done this year, then I then I guess it makes sense. But but there's, what there's happened a lot. when Grandpa played and and, and SMU was there? like, what are we talking about? Have there's, we lost our minds? There's Am I no, crazy? no. This my my brain is all over the place on these games. Okay, yeah. Because no, that's, that's I, an understatement. I look at these trends, and you can see these trends, right? I mean, it just it follows across the board because you see. Teams like West Virginia that can never beat Oklahoma State for whatever reason, but they seem to always beat TCU. I mean, you start looking back at at these certain trends, right? UCF being a five, like beating this team five straight times, and now they are a seven point dog. I, I I get it, right? I understand because if you look at the full season for UCF, but you don't take into account the fact that they lost their quarterback after week two or three or whatever it was, and then why, Mikey why King was pretty we bad. Why would we take that into account, Gary? I mean, why would we? Huh? Right. That's hold insane, on, hold on. Right? Here's, here's what I'm getting at, right? Because I, I've started, and I'm doing better this season because I've started looking more at uh, a trend over the last three games as opposed to a full season. Because as we know, college football is a living organism. It, it continues to evolve. Teams can improve throughout the season. SMU, over the last couple of weeks, has looked really bad. Really bad. And I don't know if that has anything to do with Sonny Dykes and, and the TCU talk or his contract talk or whatever, or if SMU was just selling us a bill of goods you know, early in the season. I don't know what happened. So I, I do wonder here... Because I think I think UCF's pretty good. Like Mikey Keene has figured this thing out with Gus Malzahn's offense. I think we're going to see some points. I think we're going to see a lot of fun plays here. I'm going to take UCF plus the seven here. I don't know that I don't know that they'll win the game outright. But if you give me a head start with a team that I think is just as good as the other one, yeah, give, give me the Knights. That's fine. Look, I, we're going to go the same way. I just I, we we just took a different path to get there. What? <laughs> What, no, 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 that's a that's an understood. What, what you took is not a pass, sir. What you took is not a pass. You you just I, I don't I can't explain it. But I went I went off road with the golf cart. I'll, I'll take I'll take the points. Okay. I'll take the points and that's it. Okay, 